This next flashcard is a really good one to remember as it's a way of calculating the distance traveled by an object. And if you have a graph of, uh, let's say, velocity, velocity versus time, just see that on the edge, and let's say that we've got a straight line. Remember, a straight line uh, means that we've got constantly increasing velocity at a constant rate, so that's an, a constant acceleration. And uh, let's say it's a straight line here. A uh, flat line means that we're going at a constant speed, and then maybe we we decelerate quite quickly, go back to zero meters per second. So time is measured in seconds. Then if you wanted to work out the distance that's traveled by this object as it accelerates and then goes at a constant speed and then decelerates, we could work out the area underneath. Simple as that. So this flashcard is the distance traveled by an object can be found by calculating the area, the area under a velocity a velocity time graph. Now I've used velocity here, but you, you could be it could be speed as well. Or speed. But it's best we stick with velocity as um, velocity remember is speed in a certain direction uh, and that will always work when we're finding the area underneath, we will find the distance that's traveled.